I do have a solar panel multimeter tester here, the EY600W. So here you can see it tries to measure not only the voltage, what's the ideal voltage here, but also the maximum watt output. So right now I set it to auto. It's the LHI that set it to auto. We have a 195 watt by facial plus 29 watt. And here we can see the max output at the moment. Let me give you a full picture. Here you can see the entire panel. As I mentioned, it's bifacial. Yep. And there you see it. 140 is the max it can pull, it looks like. It's that simple, just the MC4 connectors, that's all you have to connect to it. And then you can check out your solar panel. Besides the device itself, it also comes in this little nice case. It comes with those little alligator clamps as well, a little user manual, and uh, that's it. Pretty straightforward, but easy device and easy to test. The maximum of this one is 60 volts, by the way. The maximum of this one is 60 volts, by the way. There you go. So the idea with the Altshoi solar panel tester or multimeter was to test multiple solar panels. Unfortunately, I'm in LA and we don't have sunshine at the moment, so apologies for that. I have to do a full out video and test another solar panel. But what I can say with this solar panel, I was able to achieve just, just, 150 watts with this solar panel I was testing here with this multimeter as well. The multimeter showed 140 watts. So um, I'm not sure if it's super accurate or not, but I have to do a follow-up test. So far, it gives you an indication. And we did already test this. I tested it with my family, um, more in the countryside, on multiple solar panels. I think it's 27 or 28 solar panels. They all were used, degraded a little bit over time, so they had they were about 250 watts in the past, and now they are more around 180 or 160 watts, depending on the degradation, on the level of degradation. So what I want to tell you with this, it gives you an indication on how much output you could possibly achieve, and it should be very accurate, if possible. But this solar test, I wasn't able to test it with another solar panel, so I have to wait a couple more days, weeks, I don't know. I'll do a follow-up video on this one. I hope this helps you and gives you an indication because this is a fairly cheap product, I feel like, just to get an idea, okay, what does a new solar panel achieve versus maybe a, an older one or a used solar panel before you buy something. So just that you have an idea, oh, I'm buying a 200 watt solar panel and then you only get 80 watts and you're wondering why. So this tester, at least it does fulfill kind of a job how accurate it is, we'll test it in another video to see it. But um, I like the idea of this tester and it has a range between zero and 60 volts, keep that in mind, and up to 1600 watts. So that's something you have to definitely be sure and that's something you have to keep in mind. It's not endless. Um, the package is nice, it comes in a little pouch, has the wires you need, even the MC4 connectors are already assembled. So you plug and play, put it in and then you test it. All right, that's about this Elchoy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video. See you next time. Cheers.